Hey everyone. Yes. Hey everyone. Indeed. As you may know, it's Star Wars Day today because it's May the 4th. It is. May the 4th be with you and all that. So yes. we thought we would do a bit of coding based around Star Wars. <laughs> yes, we are going to be calling an API and creating a movie selector app with a Star Wars theme. And if you want to code along, our starter code is indeed in the description and I've shared it there. Not only that, there will be a little giveaway later, a Star Wars themed quiz where you can win six months of Scrimba Pro absolutely free of charge. Yes. <laughs> but first, let me know where you are all tuning in from. Wow, look at you all. Hello. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, happy May the 4th, everyone. <laughs> Cyber Arts. Is this that? says, this is exactly what I need. Is that the show? That's Star Trek. <laughs> I know. Wrong show. I know, but yes. Hello. I like why you people up sometimes. Oh, well, <laughs> Ooh, hello from India and Sweden. Pink hand waving. Oh, no, hand pink waving. Good to see you all here. Yep. Um, well, let's get started there. Oh, uh, the, 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 what's it? Yeah. Rabbits. Oh, and Illinois. Um, yes, indeed. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. We do a weekly poll here. Um, yes. Which is this. Hey. <laughs> if you are new here, please yeah. put a bunny rabbit emoji into the chat. That one. And if you've been before, <laughs> hit me with that tiger. And uh, it should be this one. You can also use the full body bunny and tiger. Both yes. are acceptable. Yes, absolutely. We don't use this information. It's just for fun and tradition. Yes. Yeah. Or if you're from Colchester, you put an elephant. Yes. But I can't imagine there's <laughs> many of you there. We have a huge following in Colchester. Yes. Yes. Wow. I got a 20,000? Or is it 200,000? I can't. 20,000. <laughs> Differentiate the zeros. Dollar job because of only you guys. Wow. Really? Wow. Congrats. Yes. Nice. Huge congrats. Well done, MWO dude. Oh, look at all these guys. Oh, there's a full stack types. developer. Uh, so look at it down. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, congrats. Fabulous stuff. Nice one. Start of a sparkling career, I've no doubt. Um, Yes, lots of bunnies and tigers hitting Whoa, up the chat. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of rabbit. A little bit more than usual. So, yeah, you. well, uh, welcome, everyone. I guess in that case, we should probably introduce ourselves. We probably should. So. We probably should, yeah. Um, oops. Who are these random people on YouTube? I mean, it doesn't really matter. But I guess not. We are from scrimba.com. Yes. yes. You can find us right here. And um, there are various coding courses. HTML, CSS, React. And yes. our favorite course of all time, which is the Frontend Developer Career Path. Yes. Which aims to teach you everything you need to know to become a front-end developer. Yeah, yes. from zero to hired. Yeah, exactly. In 13 modules. See, the last module is getting hired. <laughs> Indeed, yes. And lots of exciting things coming up in the next few months with Scrum Bet. So hmm. um, sign up. <laughs> Brilliant. So. Yeah, and you are? I'm Leanne. Yes, and I'm Michael. So, yes, there you are. I don't think anyone thought I was Michael. Oh, yeah, it actually has it. I actually, yeah, it says it on the screen. Yeah, okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> we are very professional run stream. Yes, totally. Um, so here is our starter code. The HTML and CSS is already done. And, well, not really a huge amount to speak of. Um, most important things in the HTML, I guess, are uh, we've got this div with our input and our button. And then we've got another div, which is currently empty, um, that has an ID of movies container for reasons which will become clear in the course of the JS, um, which we're going to write shortly. Mm -hmm. And the CSS, use Flexbox to style it, um, both the app in general and the little input container there. Yes. This is done making it look like they're right next to each other with border radius. If you're interested, you can go in and check it out. And the movies container ID, the empty one, which I mentioned earlier, 
has already got some styling so that when we call the API and render some snazzy Star Wars images, um, they won't look ridiculous. Yes. So JS is currently empty. Yes. So, ah, that's yeah, that's my turn. Now it's your turn. <laughs> What's the plan? Maybe we should make some to-dos. Plum, 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 plum. Uh, well, I guess what you do is uh, we have a search bar, so we do search search movie um, display details of found. Kind of really weird to say movie. Okay, I kind of don't actually. Yeah, search film display display of uh, details of found films. Um, so what would that be? Like a poster, mm, obviously a name, uh, some kind of yeah poster in a name. And I suppose uh, what we can do is very briefly like. I mean, obviously, you can like turn the card around and the rest of it um, to show what you can do. But I suppose we'll we'll just have like a little pop up that just says, "Yeah, that works." Or on hover. I prefer clicking. Clicking. Okay, so on click of card, show um, model model of. Uh, description. I could imagine that model would be quite tricky to code in vanilla. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe there is. Is there an HTML element for a model? I don't think there's an inbuilt one, but it's not too difficult. Okay, fair enough. And then we'll build one. Uh, but well, you you promised it's not going to be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like display none or visibility hidden. I can't remember which one is best. Well, we'll see. Um, show yeah. model description. that. Yeah, show Isn't model. It? With description. Oh, interesting. There is a new HTML element for modals. Really? Oh, wow. That sounds exciting. Uh, dialogue element. Is it? Represent a dialogue box or other interactive components such as dismissive alert. Quick googling here. Dialogue open. Yeah, I think it is. Is dialogue? Show the dialogue. Oh wow! Look at that. Oh wow. <laughs> favorite oh, wow. animal, brine shrimp. Yes, that's my favorite animal. Yes, the dialogue element says Lee. Well, maybe we can uh, incorporate that. Oh, neat. Okay. Well, fair enough. Thank you for the heads up. Yeah. You did learn. Mm -hmm. uh, with description and other bits. But because this is a Star Wars themed movie app, we want to do something if there's no Star Wars movie found, right? According uh, to what's in the search box. Right, so we'll walk. If Found films. Walk. If okay. not. Yeah. This is always pseudo coding out what's yeah. what we're going to write in the JS. Of course, yeah. Cool. If not, display some kind of message. True. <laughs> Indicate to the user what they need to do. None found. Yeah. Um, anything else? Hmm, that's enough to be getting on with. Yeah, that's just the search, and then we'll do stretch. I suppose we can stretch us. Yeah, well, uh, we'll come up with something later on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll decide my stretch cells later. Yeah, like save to local. Storage, I suppose. Saving what to local storage? Like the movies. Uh, 
No, you can probably like like or like to watch, right? Something like to watch. You can star film and say like watch later. Ah, yeah, that's what it's called, I think. Isn't it? In YouTube or something. Watch later, like you press a star and then it like keeps it. Okay. So when you search it, it will highlight you that you've already searched it before. Like you, you've started. Okay. All right. Sounds well, like we'll a see. decent plan. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so search film. Well, I think uh, kind of the go-to API is where is it? Star Wars API, right? Star. Swarpy.com. Swarpy. Dot dev. There we go. Dot dev. Yeah, because I think like dot com is they sometimes been breaking up and stuff like that. I think they've changed it from dot com to dot dev. Yeah. Or no, dot co by the looks of it. Yes. What happened to Swarpy dot co? Um, unfortunately, it's not maintained anymore, and the service is currently down. This branch will not be support. This is the branch that is going to be supported. Oh, it looks like they had maintenance and then like forked it. Fair it yeah. Okay. So, so this is our Star Wars API. Yes, documentation. Um, do, do, well, it's do, not ours. Do. <laughs> it's the one we're using. Yes, and then you can basically read through the docs. So if you call uh, swapy.dev API planets, you will get a response with some property names and stuff. Yeah, look at that. Uncoding, JSON. And there is an encoding called Wookie. Wookie is for so people with encoding identical to JSON except with Wookie translations. Useful. Right. If you are a Wookie, maybe it's useful. What? How does that? I mean, we'll have to. We don't have to use that. Yeah, I know, but it, <laughs> it would still be quite interesting to see what. So I think what you can do is, uh, if it's just a GET request, you can just actually <laughs> open it in the browser. Because uh, uh, you don't need a key for a Star Wars API or anything like that. So you can just actually make these requests. So for a GET request, you can actually see. So oh, right, okay. it gives you the information in. In Wookie. Wookie. Yeah, so okay. So it, it, it's been. Sure, it's language is called. Yeah, it's been translated. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Okay, fair enough. Right. Uh, That's <laughs> the key to things. Yeah. What? What? Uh, so, in that case, we can just very quickly grab some input from the search bar. Alexei appreciates our, I think this is referring to our thumbnail, where we, we were dressed as yeah. Leia and Han Solo. Yes. We're not brother and sister. Oh, hang on, that's, that was no, Luke. That's not Han Solo. <laughs> that was Luke. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> it's been like, I don't know, 20 years since I watched Star Wars? We rewatched some of it in lockdown. Did we? Yeah. I do not remember that. <laughs> it was a strange year. I do not remember that at all. Uh, are you sure it was Star Wars? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember that at all. Oh, well. Uh, okay, so the next one. So calling call the it. API, right? Yeah, we, we need to call the API, but let's... Ah, well, yeah, Const results equals. Let's, let's call an API and get some results. Uh, do they, they must have like a films endpoint. Yeah, there we go. So you can get all films. Mm -hmm. uh, so presumably, so we can actually just do that. If you call Films with no ID, right? So it's Wofi.dev API films. That gives you all the films, right? But I think it said there that uh, somewhere in the docs, you can say searching, okay? And let me just zoom in. So searching all resource supports search parameter that filters this set of resources. Okay, so this search is not like fuzzy search, like on Netflix. Now, like when you type, 
and the comedy and they will give you you know like not just things that have comedy in the name but it's like genre you know that kind of stuff right. tags so what will this give them well this says that it filters the set of resources returned so it basically it's a very straightforward like if the word is in the name i will give it back to you if not then mm. or you know there is and actually, I don't know. Uh, well, it says like the example here is R2. So let's actually see what happens if we do that. It returns people that have the name R2. So it basically filters by, by the name. And there's only one. Really? I thought there might be like an R2D1 or something. Or, no. Uh, or D2R2. Hmm. Interesting. But anyway, point being, this is a very specific search along the, whichever parameter you're yeah. using it on. So if for films, we can search a film with the word Jedi in it or something. Okay, and apparently there is only one film with the name of Jedi, and that's episode six? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah the sixth. Yeah, mm -hmm. Return of the Jedi, and that's only one. Okay, cool. And also, handily, there is uh, a property called count. So basically, when we search, the result is returned in the field results, and we have a field called count. Okay, cool. So in that case, uh, what we do is we can just use fetch and ooh. <laughs> Speaking of films, yeah, getting you in ours. <laughs> <laughs> Charles from California. Hello. Sure, the weather is better there than it is here. Yeah, pretty much all the time of the year. Uh, so we do just fetch and then because that would be. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I'll just do it the old way and then we can convert it to a sink. Uh, dot then I'll do like response, and then you have to do the JSON part on it. I think I'm impressed you're doing this from memory. Really? Um, I think it then goes. I think it's like JSON and it's still down here. Okay, I'll tidy up in a second. Let me just see if this actually works. Oh, wow, okay. It, it wow. did work. Okay, cool. Amazing stuff. Um, so, yeah, um, I don't quite like this dot then um, syntax because it kind of nests it if you see so it's like this dot then and then you obviously need to like catch errors and stuff like that. you need to do error handling so i feel like it's just easier to do it with async uh and i'll just show that yeah in the console you can see we got we got the result that we had in in the browser uh so this should give us an error. Uh, it was expected, what? Common was expected. Don't know why Scrimbook gives that error. That common was expected, but let's see what happens then. <laughs> Uh, I expect to identify fetch. Uh, so very quickly, I'll just Google top level async await. And then, oh yeah, sorry. Of course, there we go. Yeah, sorry, just the uh, brain farts. Anyway, await, so await fetch, that in Scribble works now. It used to not work, but now it does. Did it? We've definitely used it on the stream. 
In that case, I'm just slow today. Yeah. Anyway, console.log, and then we get the result. Uh, Do we get a result? Yes. So, <laughs> so it does take its time. We do. It does take its time. Uh, and then we can do result.json. We also need to await that. OK. Yeah, there we are. It does take money. Infotainment asks, can we use try catch? Yes, exactly. So. Um, kind of like, I tend to think that every time you want to await something, you probably want to wrap that into a try and catch. Mm -hmm. What's the reason for that? Uh, because every time you make a network call, uh, there is a reason it might not succeed. And you want something in there to deal with that. If that yeah, happens. and you probably want to do that. So, Good. Um, and to be fair, a lot of the time you will probably be writing more code in your cache block <laughs> than in the try. <laughs> Is that because there's various different things that can go wrong? Yeah, exactly. Like, like you can, yeah. you'll probably write a lot of code. Like for example, is it a network error? Is it an application error? Is it like? Uh, but for example, in this case, um, if I make this call. Um, I know that, for example, count, again, it depends, all depends on the API. Some APIs return error codes for successful mm -hmm. searches and stuff. So, for example, you can return you a 404, even though, um, well, like, for example, it didn't find any films, it would just return you a 404, even though it ha you have done the correct search, but there are no results. Mm -hmm. So, it kind of depends on the APIs. I won't debate which one is right, because, yeah, people have opinions. Um, but in this instance, uh, this is like, I'll just say, handle network errors with this particular API. And I'll just log what that error was. Uh, and then you can come back to this and fix this up and make it better. Okay. Uh, but the next one will be const. So this is not result as such. So what I tend to do is, so you get a result, and then you need to JSON that, and then you need to await that. Why do we have await twice? Uh, because await from a fetch returns you a promise. Mm -hmm. But then you convert that into the JSON, and that is the dot JSON also returns you a promise, and you need to await that. Okay. So to get the actual uh, JSON look like what we get, formatting it as you can yeah. use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like here, you need to basically do it well, twice. Dot JSON. Yeah, uh, people usually write it in two lines, but I just prefer to because it's effectively this is effectively what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. Right, it should be one thing. So I'll just write it like that. All right. Yes. OK, and then so that basically does if found films, display details of found film. Uh, we haven't done that, yet, have we? Yeah. So then we can do if found film result dot. And funnily enough, that should be in the results. So what I can do, I'll Some probably type. just, yeah, I'll probably just rename this variable to something like um, API call. <laughs> I have no, is that a good name? Yeah, you know, like API res. And then I can then say const. Then you can do object extraction from it. You can say count results. Hey. From API refs. Or if you're feeling, you know, you're feeling dangerous, you can just inline that. Is that gonna work? 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not the most readable. Yeah, well, that's why I mean, like, if, if you're feeling <laughs> a little bit uh, dangerous, it will work, but if not, uh, I can then just briefly show count. Right. There you go. We have, we have one. Found, we have found one film, okay. All right, cool. try it with title. What? No, we don't have title yet. Uh, we have it in results, results, first object, and then it will be a title there. So how do we target that? So you'll say results dot results first object dot title. There you go. Turn of the Jedi. Lovely. Um Hello. Oh. <laughs> Tenderhoff asks. So you can use a weight without async. I thought they were a combo like try, try catch. Uh, yeah, so you have to use a weight in a function that is async. Uh, we are writing, this is like the outermost scope, and this is called top level weight. And you would have to write it um, into, I think it's called immediately invoked function expression. So previously, you would just like wrap it into, yeah. Uh, so you would wrap it kind of like that, right? And then you would write there, you would write a, call it async, and then you will be able to use a weight there. But people basically said, because it's such a common pattern in vanilla JavaScript places, that we basically, yeah, the spec was changed, and uh, now most browsers support uh, just, you don't have to write this out of function anymore. You just write your code here using a wait, and it, it will work. So that's basically what you mean we using do. a sync. No, using. Oh, no, it is a wait. Yeah, <laughs> ignore me. So when you say most browsers accept that, are there some browsers that this wouldn't work on then? Like IE eleven or something like that. Yes, but that's dead now. So yeah, so <laughs> I think it should work everyone now. Good. Uh, Thank you for the question, Tim. Top level wait. Browser support. Uh, can I use top level await? And there we go. So is it hey, Chrome? 488. So that basically until the support for it ended in 2021. Uh, so, yeah. Very old edge. Pretty much works across Safari. the board. Yeah, it works everywhere apart from IE 11. Still used. I'm aware. Global usage. Like 0.4%. Oh, wow. Well, anyway. So there. As infotainment says, it might make it long, difficult to manage. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like That's always have, the thing, isn't it? Like, if you have a lot of these properties, and you might actually... You can make it as clever as you like, but if other developers don't understand it, then that's not helpful. Yeah. So it's all about the balance. Yeah, like if you are distracting a lot of... How do I come here? A lot of properties. It will become a little bit tricky to read, yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. Good to know. Cool. Okay, so if count is Happy zero. Star Wars Day, says our code reviewer maker. Hello. Yes, indeed. I must interrupt this broadcast. <laughs> to give an important message. Yeah, yes. Um, maker is one of the code reviewers. Um, that's the wrong one. On the boot camp. Here it is, Scumba Bootcamp. When you join the Scumba yes. Bootcamp, not only do you get access to all of our courses on Scumba, but you also get guaranteed uh, reviews of your code from our very professional code reviewers. Miko is one of them. So yes, go check that out, should that take your fancy. Okay, yes. back to the studio. Yes. So if count is zero, uh, we'll need to show a placeholder. It's not really a placeholder, is it? It's more of a message. Um, I mean, I'm nitpicking, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, or... Yeah. And then... Else, we'll basically need to write the code for, for the search. Hmm. Rendering the title and the movie poster. Yeah, 
But for now, I think. We'll just say. Run found. So we are somewhat, you know, don't just look, stare at screens if nothing happens. Yes, nothing worse. Uh, and this one. Found. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'll do. Okay. Hello, Mohammed Sada. Okay, obviously it just ran, found one because we kind of hard code the result. Good. So, what we can do now is very quickly say something like const. Um, so, our input is search input. So this is where it's going to search for things that the user has actually entered into the input. That's right. Mm -hmm. So get element by the search input. Uh, and then we can then say something like so let's console log what we put. So field dot Content? No. <laughs> what is it? Well, I think you need to. You will need to grab it on the on the search button, right? Mm, yeah. So we will then just create a function search. Mm, boom. And then we'll just. Grab it here. Oh, it's dot value. Yeah. And then we'll basically say search field dot add a listener click. It's not on the field, is it? It's on that button. Ah. I'm not sure if that's already got an ID or not. Oh, he used BTN. Oh, I have used BTN, yes. Oh, no, it's just BTN. Well, yeah, because you, you use BTN, that's why. Uh, document, get element by the. I mean, I think we should change. If this were in production, you would have a more explicit ID. So search BTN. Unexpected reserved word. Oh. Search. I'm not sure that is that. What? All oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> um. Well, we still haven't added the event listener. Yeah, but I'm not sure. What it thinks is the reserved word. Yeah. I'm not sure either. Hopefully it'll go away. Uh, maybe it's the function called search. Can't be. Expect a reserved word. It would help if it told you which word it was. What's oh, the yeah. open death clause? I think. Yeah, okay, there you go. I think that's just an error that Scrimba doesn't return. So basically, uh, because I'm using a wait inside of a function, uh, basically what it's trying to say is like you're using, uh, you're using a wait without a sync. So it just says unexpected result for what, so there you are. But you're saying that's only an issue in Scrimba? Uh, yeah, I think in another, like in your React app or something, I think it would actually point you to say that you have used a wait without a sync. Or actually, well, depending on your linter and stuff like that, or depending on your setup. So you do need a sync then? Yeah, 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 you definitely need a sync. To use a wait in a function, you will need to, yeah, use a sync. Oh. Yes. If it's in a function, because now it's not a top level. Ah, okay. Right, so now it's a separate function. Got you. So if it's at top level, 
You yes. can do without a sink. Yes. Otherwise, you can't. That's right. No, it is. Okay, and then see, I can say. Um, So once I click the button, right, I can then just go into the input and grab the value. Yep. Sounds good. So that would be content, no, text content. No, it's not value. Is it? Yeah, so now let's do. Yes. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Well, yeah. And so that had run. So, okay. So we get search field down value. So we can use that in our search. We just parameterize that. Yep. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, so it splits it. That here. Okay, so we found one. Uh, I found that if you are testing for like names. Okay, there you go. So three Star Wars film have the word off in the mm -hmm. title. Okay, so. Good stuff. Yeah, so now we will need to actually do the rendering. Cool. Uh, so I suppose, where do we have the HTML is, we have it in the movies container. So we can say, Uh, can we get elements? Can we get the movies container? Yep. And then we can then say movies dot you know HTML because we kind of well. We trust Star Wars API, I suppose. This I think one. we should do it with creating an element. Uh, sure. What do you want to do? Like const. Uh, I think it's document create element, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that. Hmm. How do we want to do this? We want a div. Oh, there's already a div in there, so we only need to create a um, image um, and a H two. Well, every like every film should have its own like element. Okay, right. So then we. So let's the... let's actually just. Do need it? Yeah, very quickly. <laughs> Hard code this first. Figure yeah. out what we actually want, and then build it. Yes. So we want. Yeah. Right. So there will be like a. Uh, no, it, it will be right. So this is like individual film with. I think in the CSS you had. Oh, there you go. You had movies container. No. Is there an individual? Oh yeah, there is movie. a class individual yeah. movie. Okay. And then there's movie images. Um... Right. Yeah. Starts so, the image really. So that would be. Right, like that class movie. Yes, and then um, we want image. They want an image. Well, whatever that image is. Force equals um, uh, whatever it takes right. from the API. And then presumably a title, which paragraph. Mm, go to the CSS. Is there any? Um, it's movie, movie image, movie, movie title. title. So that can be anything then. Well, you know, within reason. <laughs> Paragraph, I think, will be okay. More of a heading, though. No, I think it's a paragraph. And we want an alt tag. 
which um, will be like movie title poster. Right, and then an alt tag. Okay, so that's that's what we're aiming for. Okay, so in that case, yeah, that's so. Let's now just to make it simple. Um, we'll just say that for. So we got the results of the film, and we'll just say that results. Why did I not get autocomplete on that? Um, is it not called results? It's results. Hmm. Anyway, maybe it doesn't know that it's uh, it's an array. Um, so, the favorite result, I'll say movies dot in HTML plus equals. No, so we want to avoid in HTML. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's just so we, we can see it. Ah, oh, right. And then you want to convert it. Yeah. Right, so, and then here, uh, I don't know the image because from what I've seen, this actually doesn't really have any images in here. Mm, where does it get it from then? So, for example, the film itself, yeah, so it has the URL for the film, but the film doesn't have any. So we'll need to find another source for these. And, okay. But in the meantime, the title, actually, output, uh, result, not the title. Is that correct? So we'll see. Do, do, do. I think so. So here's our search result. We have results. And then, yeah, A is dot title. See if we do. OK, here we go. We get an unknown error. Uh, this highlights the importance of alt tags. Yes. So. NH. Live coding, how fun. Yes, let's go. So this will be, I suppose, the title. Poster. Poster? I think I'm gonna need, yeah, quotes. I know it'll need to be the... Yeah, but that's like the bigger one. That has not included the poster, though. I think you do need to use back ticks. Yeah, but I think it will close. I don't think it will. It will only close the one that you're doing. Single text? Well, anyway, we'll be programmatically creating those anyway. So what I want. Yeah, so anyway, we, we have done that part, so what we can do is now just, uh, as you have said, create those individually. Yep. So, we div the image and the class. We will create, not class, the paragraph. We will create with create element. Div, yes. Mm -hmm. Movie dot classes dot add. Um, movie. Yeah. Copy in this. Yeah, so we have image. And then image dot set attribute source. 
Well, we also need to add the class. Do we? No, we actually don't, because in the CSS, it's set on the selector. On the image. Yeah, so we don't need to add a class on that one. Cool. Good. Source. Uh, we'll keep it blank for now for the for the poster. But for out, we'll create. Victor says you can try this. So that's huh, really. Yeah. Ah, so. Ah, okay, so you create that as a variable. Okay, 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 I get it, I get it. You, you have an expression, Interesting. and then within that, you set those. Oh, pretty clever. Yes. Uh, cool, so now we have Thank result of title. Is that? Uh, then we create We need to append them, no? Yes. Uh, so what we want to do is append the image and the title and then append um, the div into the one that's already in the DOM. Yeah, so we append these two to this and then we append this to that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we have an over element. Um, Paragraph. We have title dot classless dot add movie title title dot in a text will be equal to a result of title. Okay. Okay, now, and then, yes, basically what we do is we say we dot in child, and we say, can you actually append children? I have a feeling you can do more than one. Yeah. Append child. Append multiple elements. Yeah, document fragment. That looks scary. It's probably not. Oh, so they just say, oh. Oh, boy. Anyway. I thought we discovered once that there was a way of doing it. Yeah, I have a big memory of what we did. But, can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's only two. Uh, so, that's true. Poster. Movie dot title whoops benchar dot title and then uh, what we basically do is move this pen child movie. Dang and that kind of should just do it. Let's give it a go. Yeah, that should work. And <laughs> yeah, it did. All right, yeah, but we still have to sort out where yes. to get the image. Okay. Yes, we still need to sort out where to get the image. Um, Wait, so is that Return of the Jedi? Is that the alt tag? Or is that the title? Because either way, one of them's not working, is it? Because it should be there twice. So I think that's probably the title. We might need to inspect it and yeah. then figure out why the alt isn't working. Yeah, I think it is. There you go. But for some reason it says unknown error. But and now it's not rendering the title. Yeah, yeah, because I. Oh, you come to now. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. But what's um, that? Probably unknown... because you're. Unknown error. Wow. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Error object event. 
No, no, no. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, Could the alt tag be being cut off by the window? It might be. Let's give it a go. Could be. Comment them back in. Oh, look at that. Failed to fetch. Actually, it did fail to fetch. What? Did it? Yeah. Okay, comment everything back in. Oh, I think we might be getting throttled. Yeah. There's only 21 people watching, so I don't think it's... <laughs> no, I think uh, basically... Oh, there we go. So now, yeah. okay. let's um, get the old dev tools out and see what is here. This P image. Oh. So actually, it does have an alt. Is it that the alt is in black text? Ah. <laughs> which I suppose for screen readers wouldn't really be a problem, but that's not the only reason you need um, an alt tag. Yes, that was it. Interesting. Hmm. So how do you style the alt tag then? Do you just, how do you style the alt tag? <laughs> style alt tag CSS. Can I style an image's alt tags of CSS? Set the image tag color. Really? Really? Wow. I have never seen that. What's? Oh, wow. That actually works. Wow. <coughs> never come across that before. 21 very important people. Absolutely. Wow. Oh, look, the old hidden text. Yeah, Great. I know. Oh, there you go. That was eye-opening, wasn't it? So it did work. It did work. <laughs> what about a hyphen and make it one word? Uh, Which one? I think the alto. Should I'm, we do that? I'm not entirely sure. Well, why? Well, well yeah. Oh. Why? Maybe it was something else. Oh, maybe time. it was something else. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, anyway. yeah. Yes, <laughs> glad to know. Me too. Just in time to learn something unique. Yeah. I'm happy we've learned that. <laughs> All right, so let's now see. Forget. Yeah. Oh, we do. Yeah, but we if the searches if the searches are repeated, you add it. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, what we do is. That was definitely interesting. Styling alt text, yes. Yeah, that's something just to do later. Uh, okay, so posters, posters. Uh, I have heard that there is a place that is called like. Is it in a galaxy far, far away? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um, <laughs> relatively. A couple of network calls away. Oh. Sometimes that can be very far away. Yes. So there is like this Star Wars visual guide website. There you go. And it has. Oh, here's my favorite. What? The, this guide. That's your favorite. No, <laughs> go back. This Admiral Akbar. Oh, Admiral Akbar. Yeah. Oh, he's gone now. Mon Calamari. Is that Admiral Akbar? I don't know. Isn't it? No, I think. Uh, oh, actually, I'm pretty sure it is. related. It is Admiral Akbar. Uh, Mokar Murray is a species. That's his species, yeah. Hi, oh, 180 centimeters. How did they know that? <laughs> Hair color none. <laughs> Hair color none. Yeah. Anyway. Brand why are we here? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> to yeah. get the posters. Yes. Okay. Films. Okay. So. Uh, Some of them, anyway. Yes, and <laughs> you can uh, you can basically just quickly grab the JPEG. 
again, because you're prototyping, it's okay. Obviously, if you deploy this to production, do not put, you know, uh, references to other images. Like, make your own images. Uh, and because that, because that's uh, basically a relative path, right? Mm -hmm. Oops. Uh, that's relative path, and it would be here. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's... Wow. Whoa. Okay, so Amazing. I obviously show the fourth film, right? Because this is hard coded. So this has an episode ID. Uh, so what we can do is we can change that to be the episode ID. Change that to be an episode ID, right? So now you search for that. Uh, ooh, reference episode ID. Oh yeah, episode is now ID is not defined because that will be in. Movie dot episode ID, right? Because we result, yeah. we cycle through every result, right? And then every result will be an object, and then inside of that object will be an episode ID. Okay. Cool. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, except that's actually not great because the poster says "Revenge of the Sith." <laughs> <laughs> right, and I think the reason for that, okay, so the reason for that is so is the episode ID not actually the episode number, right? So Star Wars episodes, I think. So, so Return of the Jedi in order to watch. Ah, no, just. <laughs> Just in order, in order of release. Yes, that'll do. Um, Does this Star Wars movie API not have images? It didn't no, seem like it. No, it, I don't think so. Because when I went to, well, at least this Star Wars API, right? There are many. So when you go to film, um, yeah, there is release date, there is species, title. Yeah, so the, that, there you go. Here are all attributes. Title, episode ID, opening crawl, opening paragraphs of the beginning, director, producer, release date, species, starship, vehicles, characters, planets, URL, created, edited. That's it. Done. I actually think because there aren't that many Star Wars films, it would be easy just to save them locally or save them into the project and then just render them yeah, you, like you, that. Yeah, you can save them from. Anyway, so what I think is happening is basically the Star Wars visual guide uh, shows you episodes as they were released, right? Oh, uh, no, it's giving you, like, episode one. It starts from one. So, But you actually want to start from... Yeah, four, so, like, eight. for example, this... Yeah, see, Return of the Jedi is episode six, but in the image catalog, they have it three because it was basically third released. So fourth is released mm -hmm. one, release two, release three. And then, yeah, so Phantom Menace is image four, right? So they're basically in different order. So what we can do, um, I will just do, At the top of the image, I'll just say const episode order, right? And then I'll just do uh, it was released as four, five, six, right? And then one, two, three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And so instead of rendering this variable, I will then just say. Uh, yeah, so instead of results episode ID, 
I will say, give me episode order dot index of episode ID. Right, so basically I have an episode ID which is movie six. Yeah. Uh, but the order of that episode is three. Yeah. So that will give me the correct image. Hopefully. <laughs> yes. Hopefully. I have faith. So if I say Jedi, uh, that gives me still an correct image. Empire Strikes Back. That's giving you the but, but, <laughs> but it's off by one, right? Oh, right, because it's zero index. Because yeah. everything is zero index. So I suppose I can just say, you know, zero index, whatever. This is so pro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it works. There you go, Return of the Jedi. Okay. We got there in the end. Yeah, you can, you can do this, <laughs> like, like that, or you can obviously say plus one here. Mm -hmm. But I think, I think this is better. Okay. So sometimes you don't need to build, like, crazy solutions. That's true. Yeah, and then so if I, I if I, I search no, for, I need <laughs> what do you need? I need this. Like, oh, we have a Star Wars quiz or something. We do have a Star Wars quiz. Oh, okay. Well, let, wait, wait, hang on. Let, can I should, just, just copy this thing. to the? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Whoa. I like that meme of donkeys with their tails tied together pulling in. Oh, have you seen this cat dog cartoon when you were a kid? Yeah. That's how it feels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, that's us. <laughs> that is us. <laughs> yeah, I'm the dog, obviously. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that's, and if I search for off, um, you go Return of the Jedi, Attack of the Clones, and it's the correct image as well. And Revenge of Sith, and the correct image. One more word, amazing. Indeed. Now it's time for our giveaway. Yes. Here. And here. Is a short quiz about Star Wars. And if you fill it in and you get all the answers right, I will select one person with all correct answers and send them a six month Scrimba Pro gift card. Would you like to give it a go? What is the name of the bounty hunter who captures Han Solo in The Empire Strikes Back? Okay, I do not remember anything about Empire Strikes Back, but I think the name of the bounty hunter is Boba Fett. All right, give it a click. Which Star Wars film features the famous line, I am your father? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I actually don't remember. Um, probably the last one, Return of the Jedi? Click whichever one you see. Okay. It. What is the name of the furry bipedal creatures who live on Endor in Return of the Jedi? Oh, they're not Wookiees, are they? But they're very similar. Ewoks. Well, Wookiees are also furry and bipedal. They yeah, but for Endor. some reason, Ewoks weren't really famous. So I'll do that. Uh, who played the role of Princess Leia in the original Star Wars trilogy? Carrie Fisher. Well, Natalie Portman is far too young to play anyone in the original Star Wars trilogy. Um... Daisy Ridley, um, I don't know, but Carrie Fisher kind of reads the bell, so I'll go for that. You can tell I'm a very avid fan. <laughs> yes. What's the name of the smuggler and scoundrel who became a hero of the Rebel Alliance? Uh, that's Han Solo, no? I have no it? idea who any of these are. Lando? That kind of rings the bell, but I don't remember any of them. Anyway, Han Solo will do. Uh, what's your email address? <laughs> and then, if you're really taking part... Well, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll go for it. Michael at scrimba.com. Please don't spam me. Okay. Okay. Thank you for also, taking part. Maybe I will be excluded good. from the giveaway, obviously. Yes. Well, you got one answer wrong, so you were excluded anyway. Oh, did I? Yes. Oh, no, you misclicked the last question. You can enter again. Um. <laughs> yeah, you can. Anyway. We will duplicate all the emails, so, you know. Yes. The most correct, but please to, like, try not to Google all the answers, I suppose. Back to our alt tags. I wonder if you can do a background colour too, or a default image. Yeah. You can do a default image, yes. Um, but I think... Oh, like if... Uh... 
if that is broken, you can do a default. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, and then, would you want that? Food for thought. Uh, default image. I don't know, placeholder image. I think like you can probably replace a placeholder image, I suppose. Um, yeah, you'll have to use JavaScript. Oh, there you go. On error. You can then say which one you want. Huh, interesting. Yeah. Brilliant. Cool. Thank you all for stopping by our little stream. The yes. regulars and the new people. Great yes. to see you all here. We'll be back in a couple of weeks with another live stream. Any closing thoughts, my friend? Uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Oh, actually, enjoy almost the weekend. Right? It's Friday. So, Not yeah, too enjoy. Far along now. Yes. Absolutely. And most importantly of all, be happy. Yes. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Oops, wait. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>